go. Go. And welcome back to Dad and Cat, everyone. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, behind me uh, is the Nintendo theme park area that I showed you guys last time. Uh, but before I show what it looks like now, let me show you the work I did uh, to start preparing it, uh, especially this front area, for future rides and uh, Nintendo statues and all sorts of fun things like that. So... Come look with me. All right, and now for the big reveal. Are you guys ready? I don't know if you're ready. Let's see it. Nope, not that. That was already there. That is a world mod. That is not something anyone built. Here it is. Uh, you can see a little bit. Uh, one of our server members, uh, Big Pork Chop, is gotta be able to fly here. Is working on the Peach Castle, uh, which is gonna be the centerpiece of our theme park and in fact I think I saw them down there right now but here we go the central plaza all flattened out cleared uh, we've got these awesome roads going in uh, and which observant observant people might notice these look a little familiar and that's because uh, if you're a Nintendo fan they should be uh, some of you may have owned a Wii U I think there was like 10 of us in the world who had them and on the Wii U, there was a game called Nintendo Land, and it was filled with these awesome, like, kind of ribbon roads in the central hub that went to different games. And since this road is going to Peach's Castle, uh, I copied the Mario road pattern uh, from the Mario game in Nintendo Land. Uh, so that's what that is all about. So we've got this leading out to our entrance, uh, which is right across from our awesome shopping area down there. I'm not sure if we'll take the road down farther or not. Uh, I've got some other things to work on in the meantime. Uh, but we've also got a little project going. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so what I'm going to do is around the outside of this, there's probably still a little bit of the area that I need to kind of flatten out, as you can see. Uh, but as we head this way and over towards where the entrance to the, uh, to the space, space area is going to be, so I'm probably going to flatten that down a little bit, I'm going to put these giant circular pedestals all around this area on the outside of the plaza area. So the idea would be here on the inside, they could build shops, they could build uh, roads, uh, different kind of you know, rides, different attractions for the theme park. Uh, probably going to move this beacon maybe to the center of this part of the road, uh, have it come up maybe through some glass. Uh, but then, all around the outside of this area, have different dwellers of the Basement Craft server 
uh, get to try their chance to build some of their favorite Nintendo characters uh, on these pedestals. So, of course, up front, uh, it's already been discussed a little bit in the uh, server chat. Uh, Mario's going to go up here because, I mean, what would Nintendo be without Mario? Uh, but then, you know, other people. Uh, someone suggested Luigi for this spot. Uh, I do have a little bias against Luigi. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what other people pick. Maybe one of the dwellers has an idea for another uh, super important Nintendo IP. That would be very helpful. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is actually, uh, in the days ahead, create a bunch of these pedestals all around this outside ring. Kind of make a part to flatten this area a little bit more on that side to match. Go up here, do the same thing, and then once they're flattened out, tell people to grab signs, put what they're going to build and who's building it on that sign everyone can contribute uh, and uh, we'll try to make sure that people don't copy you know everyone might make Mario everyone might make Link or Zelda uh, so we want to make sure people don't just do that so we'll probably try to kind of first come first serve as to who makes what uh, but yeah that's what we're doing with that I need some rockets there we go <laughs> uh, if you wondered why I just got instantly got rockets the server has achievements and one of the things that you can do is if you get uh, fly over 700,000 blocks with your elytra you can get 64 fireworks every 24 hours uh, and so that's pretty cool I've actually completed all of these uh, on that I'm working a little bit towards the cobblestone goal uh, but we'll see we'll see how that goes um, yeah so that's what I've been up to over here kind of helping set up stuff you know when you're building a big park like this uh, on a server you really need a couple people to kind of uh, step up and to uh, really kind of map out things so that uh, everything kind of flows together and works well so that's our plan for right there uh, i still got my shulkers full of dirt from all this area down there uh, but i might need those in the future though so i'm not quite ready just to dump them into the void uh, then over here we'll have at this edge of the castle wall once it's built we'll have another road coming out this way and we're going to be putting a warp pipe top, uh, which should be pretty cool. So our idea is, uh, because the castle ended up getting imported into the world right on the sheer cliff face, and I can be pretty safe going down here because I don't think mobs can spawn in this entire castle area. We're going to create a circular entrance here that's like the bottom of a warp pipe and have an up and down, up and down tunnel coming in. Uh, from there all the way from above uh, so we use some elevators for that uh, and I think it'll be pretty cool uh, so that's a project I'll probably work on next week um, if someone else doesn't beat me to it uh, but it'll I think it'll be pretty cool but let me go uh, sleep and then then I'll see what's up and show you guys what my plan is for this area where all this crazy obnoxious orange wool is Oh, great. Is there a zombie behind me? Where you at, zombie? 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 Yay, rotten flesh. This is what everyone wants. And there's another one, and he's got... He's a football player. This is a football player zombie right here. Look at him. Where, where are you going, man? You gonna play football? Alright, got him. Hopefully that's all the zombies will work out for a bit. Um, yeah, so today's build, we're gonna be working on the entrance to Zora's Domain from Breath of the Wild. Uh, and so you can see I've got a little bit mapped out here, kind of the space I'm gonna be utilizing. Uh, but the idea here is right next to coming off of Hyrule Castle is a bridge to the beautiful Zora's Domain. And then uh, the attraction here for the, you know, it's a theme park. You gotta, you gotta have some fun. The attraction here at the theme park will be, I'm not quite sure what is going over here with this dirt. Um, will be this uh, No Elytra Trident course. So there'll be an entrance up here to this course. You come in here, make sure you don't have your elytra on. And then it'll be a timed course to see if you can make this 
without. Oh, uh, no, no, no! Ow. You can't take some damage there. This way is actually a tunnel that you have to you have to rip tie through. And then uh, I haven't finished the back end of it. My goal is to hopefully be able to build uh, over the edge of this water here, and then uh, circle circle back around. Uh, let's just get our elytra on. Um, but uh, there there's a little bit of issues with the world mod. Uh, and we also have a claim system, so like if I come down here and try to try to break all those blocks right now, it doesn't work. Uh, obviously, I'm not wanting to do that. I'm just wanting to put some of these beautiful prismarine pools of water for the trident pools up in the sky, bring them around the castle here, maybe under the bridge or something, or over the bridge, and then uh, wrap around here to the exit, so you kind of end up in a circle and end right where you exited, uh, and that way. Uh, we can do some cool things with our chest and our shopping system to basically have people where you can buy a Riptide Trident to use on the course. Uh, and then once you are done, you can sell it back and get your deposit back uh, from the course. And so that way everyone can use it and have lots of fun, even if they don't have a full Riptide Trident. So definitely uh, excited about that. Uh, but for now, we are going to start doing some building. So... Uh, I was doing some measuring, and I think I actually want to make the bridge up here uh, where the top of this dirt is, and not where I kind of mapped out originally, um, because I wanted to actually, if we we're ever able to connect it over to Hyrule Castle, uh, or at least look like maybe it used to connect to Hyrule Castle. So um, I'm going to let you guys go for a bit while I build and uh, enjoy watching this, and hopefully uh, we will uh, see you guys on the other side. All right, let's uh, take a look, see how the top part has turned out. I was a little worried up close, but man, I think from a distance, which is kind of what I was trying to think of the scale, uh, I think it, at least for right now, before I add any texturing or anything, I think it is, it has nailed it. Uh, I'm, yeah, this... This looks great. Let's see from the other side with Hyrule Castle in the background and uh, all our ugly wool. Let's see, coming this way. Although you probably will never get this view again because I am building something up into the mountain here. Uh, 
but yeah. I think it is looking great. Now there's still a few things to do. Obviously, you can't have a bridge just suspended over the air. So I gotta work on what the bottom of it is going to look like. Uh, and then, uh, I also need possibly to add some, some texturing. I'm trying to decide. I mean, Prismarine is such a pretty texture on its, on its own. Would it help to have a little bit of, say, some Prismarine slabs in here? Would that help? Break it up? Should there be a pattern? There's a lot of questions here. Um, let me fly out and see what that kind of does for it. Ooh, I think I like that. So I think I'm going to add just, not a pattern, just a little here and there just to give it kind of a a little bit of a worn look in a few places. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that and uh, I will be right back. So uh, I'm here in storage because Kat, uh, we were going to have a race, a trident race. And Kat literally lost her trident crashing into the ground this very afternoon. So. I gotta get her a Riptide Trident, so I'm gonna work on that real quick. Uh, but then uh, she's gonna meet me over at uh, the still unfinished, but it's a lot farther than the last time you guys saw it, uh, Zora's Domain. So uh, I'm gonna meet her over there after I get this Trident all fixed up. So there we go. All right, everyone, I am headed towards Zora's Domain. So we're gonna see it here in a second. Uh, let's look right here. Yeah, we got our Nintendo Plaza area, uh, where we're going to have a lot of random Nintendo stuff. We've got the Hyrule Castle that's going to have a warp pipe soon, going up to the Mario to connect it there. And our progress so far on Zora's Domain! Woohoo! So a few things happened since the last time you guys have seen this. Uh, one, we've added the curved staircase going up to the upper floor here. Then we've also added the straight staircase going up to what will be the throne room of King Dorafan uh, and eventually have the giant fish on top. Uh, but that we just did not have time for this week. But also, uh, we're still working on it. I actually forgot I have to build a fountain underneath this. Uh, but this, for those of you who know Breath of the Wild, this Mipa. is Mipa, and she is immortalized in this statue right here in the middle of Zora's Domain, so I really like that. We also had a little bit of help from uh, Ted from The Basement, uh, who, which is the channel that runs this, and make sure you check out all the other Basement Craft creators uh, that are on our list. Uh, so remember before, I could only build to, like, here? Where the, uh, where the world edit for Hyrule Castle starts. I mean, you can, get, you can really see the line still. Um, but Ted came with his uh, OP uh, administrative powers and finished off the bridge to connect over here to the castle so that if there's games or other stuff happening there, and uh, once, we get this, uh, once we get this warp pipe here, it'll be very natural for people to come down the warp pipe, come into Hyrule Castle, and then come over this way uh, and out the bridge, which Ooh. I need to find if there's a gate over here or if there's still, we'll have to figure something out. Uh, maybe I'll do like a quick nether, a nether portal uh, from over there that gets you right over here to the bridge. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Um, and I'm out of rockets, so that's also happening. Now look, it's just like Zora's Domain, it is raining. So cat. Why don't you make your way over to me so I can okay. give you this trident. You have a... And then we can race. Do you have an extra mending? Um, I have a mending book and I got it in a light choice. Can you do that for me too? Uh, you can buy a mending book. Mm. 
Oh my goodness. Why is there a lava pit behind the big giant dirt? Alright. Thing. So now we got a spot we can start from. I'll probably make a little pool over here that we can start the race from. Alright, behind you. That is a loan. That is not a trident. If you would like a trident, you will have to buy one. Okay. That is going to be, I'm going to, I plan to have a bunch of these uh, that are basically for rent at the, at the park over here. So you can, people can come use them and then return them for their money back. Um, but for now, here we go. So, cat, basically the course, we're going to start from here in the water. You'll, the rules are this, come back. Yeah. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Bye, cat. It was nice knowing you. I'm going to have to see here in a second. I think it's turning night. Uh. Um, yeah. I would try it, but I don't know. You would try it, or you would try it? I would try it. Get out of my tools! <laughs> yeah. okay, I'm I'm being, I was trying to get into the ender nice chest. I was trying people. to get into the ender chest. I'm trying to get into my tools, which is my most precious of all my... All my I wasn't trying to. I, actually, I was trying to get the ender chest. Like Speaking of, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh... <laughs> Do I need more armor? Will I die? No, you'll be fine. Okay. Just uh, land in water if you miss. Wait, what? <laughs> no, seriously. Land in water if you miss. Okay. So the course isn't completely finished yet, but we want to give it a try. So what you do is uh, you gotta make sure you don't have an elytra on. You will aim. The rules are you have to land in the water <laughs> in every pool. You have to go through the tunnel. And then say you have to make it back to this spot at the start and that is that is the finish line right here um there's a bunch of drown down here out well get up here <laughs> i live I it up see any well. trident one any trident people i didn't see any tridents so. uh the this trident that mifa has i got from a drowned right underneath us while i was building it uh it was throwing it at me from way down all right you ready to race uh, yeah so if you miss a pool you have to get back in so you can either rip tide up or there's sort of a checkpoint system. See that one that has the waterfall on it? Okay. That one, that one right there. Can I get started? The beautiful waterfall. Hold on, we're gonna go together. It's a race. Um, the one with the waterfall right there, uh, that one you can swim up it and get into the top if you're having trouble reaching it with riptide. All right? Okay. So Kat, let's we'll start the recording. Uh, the replay recording, so I can do a third person view of us. Kat, get, get back here, get back here on the land. <laughs> In the Guys, water. I don't think she knows how to do this. <laughs> Falling in the water. Yeah, I'm here. Alright, so we're both going to stand on here. Don't fall off. I'm going to count us down, and then we go. Remember, you have to touch the water in every pool. You have to go through the tunnel to the left, and then you have to come all the way back here. No! Here go. I do suggest trying to land in the water in the pools and not the side. Get back. Let's get back. All right, yeah, that was your practice. Come back here. I'm not coming. I don't have a light dress, though. <laughs> Neither do I. Oh. No, just you could have just rip tied it out of there. Oh. You, it's water in the pool, so you can rip tied out of it. That's how you get from one to one. The things this kid knows and doesn't know sometimes shock me. All right. Why are you wearing your chest plate? Are you ready? I need a chest plate. I won't. Be I'm like Aquaman. I, I swim without my, my shirt on. Except for I have a shirt on my skin. Which looks a lot like the Dad and Cat logo. So make sure to subscribe to Dad and Cat if you see this logo. Let that be your reminder. All right, you ready? Ready. All right. Go! 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 All right. Oh, I'm stuck. I got stuck. This a little trippy. Come on. Oh, ow. Where are you, Cat? Ow. Now, I do have a bit of an advantage. I have done this course before. <laughs> so, oh. the last one. You going through the tunnel? Did you land in it at all? I landed in it, but. I'm just going to quickly head back up the, the giant waterfall. Ooh. And done. Uh, I'm coming! <laughs> Do I get a prize? Uh, for what? Second place? Yeah. 
Uh, no, there's only two of us. Second place is last place. Oh. How dare you? Where, where are you? Yeah, 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 I'm behind you. What? How did you? Did you not go that way? I went over to the last one. And then... uh, but that's the course so far. So uh, I am the big winner. Can I keep my try it? But yeah. Can I keep um, my try it for a little bit? So thank you guys all for joining us for this episode. Next week, look for me to have some kind of finish on the Trident course. To My goal is to actually have this whole thing built and the top of it built as well. And uh, in case you were wondering, yes, I do know. Here underneath, there should be some pillars around this big circle. Uh, that is on my to-do list as well, as well as cleanup of this dumb stuff like this wool that I had marking out. Uh, the place, but I've left that in just for the time being. Uh, so that's my uh, that's on my to-do list for next week, as well as finishing some of the top area of the Nintendo Land so people can start building their character statues on those awesome pedestals that we saw. So, uh, be looking forward to that. Be looking forward to seeing what all the different basement craft creators are doing. Uh, a lot of them are on Twitch. A few of them are on YouTube, so make sure to check them out in the description below. And make sure to subscribe to Dad and Cat. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Minecraft, but I'm hoping to add in some more Nintendo content again uh, here in the near future uh, with Cat and I. And uh, if you want to catch us on a regular basis, uh, check out our Twitch channel. We do a Saturday night stream with Cat and I every Saturday night, as well as a Tuesday night stream where Cat's mom and I uh, do memes of the week, as well as some funny co-op games. So be sure to check that out as well. So until next time, we'll see you guys all later. Bye. bye. Hey, cat, can, can I have my turn back? No, bye. Wait, wait, no! <laughs>